Hey, hey, welcome back to Don't Run With Scissors. I'm Kelly, your favorite Jeep driving warrior, mom of twins, four crazy rescue dogs, a rescued cat, and two rescued guinea pigs who likes to craft in her spare time, has gone back to school to be a certified sign language interpreter, and is trying to train for Iron Man. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. It sends me a brief message, and it boosts my serotonin and my self-esteem, and I could use that. And if you're returning... Grab your drinks, sit on back, and let's have at it. You already know the crazy you're in for, so yeah. Um, okay. So as you may notice from my introduction, um, we are down to two piggies. We lost Kyle, our last um, remaining guinea pig, male guinea pig. Um, we, ironically, um, just the day before it had come up in my Facebook message, um, like flashbacks that we had rescued Kyle exactly five years ago and the next morning he had passed um not unheard we got him and he was about a year year and a half um so you're talking a six six and a half year old pig guinea pig it's actually quite old that he, I mean it's five to six years on average um eight is really really old forgive me um, I'm going to apologize right now. My head and my um, system is a a hot mess. We are having varied weather um, with rain, um, sometimes with sunny, um, lots of rain, and with the, the barometric pressure and everything. And then um, we've had a lot of, finally, because um, everybody had been talking about it, but um, up until really this last week, excuse me um we hadn't really dealt with a lot of the smoke from the canadian wildfires and it hit really hard um our area last week um which made it very difficult um so yeah so um so my body is just not liking that um it has kicked up my asthma really bad it has kicked up my sinuses really bad it has kicked up my head um with migraines and whatnot and um, yeah, so, um, I know I sound congested. I sound very nasally. I sound nasally to myself. It's driving me nuts. Um, so yeah, uh-huh. So let's talk about this last week besides, um, the passing of Kyle, which really sucks because Kyle, Kyle, we called Panda Pig because he was a little black and white. Um, we had gotten Kyle, we rescued him from a person who was actually just going to set him outside and let him go free range. Um, guinea pigs are not. You can't do that with guinea pigs. Um, guinea pigs are, in the States, purely a domesticated animal. They cannot, they cannot survive outside on their own. Um, I also live in Michigan, in the metro Detroit area. And when I got, when we rescued him, um, you know, five years ago, um, you know, it's warm outside. And so, yeah, um, they were also feeding him rabbit food rather than guinea pig food. And guinea pigs have... Um, their own special diet that they need like they cannot produce vitamin C on their own you have to give them vitamin C su supplements you have to make sure that the food that they have has the right levels of calcium in them um, in some respects they're a very low maintenance animal and in some respects they aren't um, and it's, it's really and truly it's not hard it's just knowing um, hey you have to feed them Timothy grass for hay uh, versus like just regular hay um, you have to make sure they have vitamin C either drops in their water or you're giving them lots of good fruits and vegetables which really and truly they should have fruits and vegetables anyways as part of their normal diet um, so the people had also been heavy duty smokers it took us a couple baths when we first rescued him to get the smoke smell out of him um, and guinea pigs shouldn't be bathed that much unless you have a specific reason. And clearly we did. Um, he had a respiratory infection. Um, we had a nurse him back. So, um, to say that this, Kyle was also the pee that like when I was having my, what is called a non-epileptic seizure, um, Kyle would know that they were coming on and he would squeak until I would pick him up and he would like literally just curl up in bed. Like if I laid down, cause usually they... <laughs> they come on that's what I would do is I would try to like make sure I was laying down I, it wasn't like a grand mall it was more like an absent seizure 
and he would just lay on my pillow like next to my head so I always say he's he's kind of like my seizure alert piggy um so it's been weird weird so we are down to just our two um our last rescued females um Salem and Quinn they came as a bonded pair um and yeah it kind of sucks um let's see what else on Monday, my son was coming home from up north, as I had said last week, and he called me and let me know. I am so sorry, you all. Seriously, I I wish I wasn't awful of snot. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm really and truly, I'm sorry. Um, so, Monday, my son called, and he got the job at Harley, and he actually started the very next morning. I mean, can we all just, like... Take a moment. I, I'm, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be really transparent and really honest. I did not think he would get the job. I, I, I honestly, I did not. Um, or I probably would not have let him interview, just given the distance driving and knowing that was all going to fall on my shoulders. It's a lot to ask. Um, so far it has worked out well. He actually opened, so he started on Tuesday. He worked Tuesday, Wednesday, had Thursday off, went back to work on Friday. Friday morning, they let him open the store by himself. Um, as far as like no coworker receptionist helping train him. Um, and then he worked Saturday all by himself from 10 to, from nine to six, he worked by himself. Um, or most of the, I think the other person might've come in at one. Now that I think about it, I don't want That could have been on Friday too. I don't know. I think Saturday he worked by himself. He was the only receptionist. He went to work yesterday. So Saturday he worked by, by himself. Now I have the hiccups because, you know, life. He went by himself. Today he went to work. And the power was out. So I had no sooner gotten home when I got a call to come and get him. And, of course, you know, the mom and me is like, oh, shit, now what? You know, like. He's like, yeah, there's no power. So they sent him home because they weren't anticipating getting it back on today. So he works for the rest of July. He will work Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So. Yeah. Am I tired? Yes. Because on Monday, I went to court with my mentor and I was the only student interpreter for how long we started at one we left the court at 4 30 and then we went to get food and to talk about like words and that and I left there at 6 15 I came home and jumped on to um, zoom that's sign for zoom zoom um for another hour and a half of interpreting to say that my brain was completely mush was is is probably an understatement and then tuesday we had class um and then my man picked up william from work on tuesday which was kind of a bummer because it was his first day and i really was i would have really liked to have been the one who picked him up because this is his first big kid job kind of thing other than like being the music librarian and, and giving le lessons um so I, I was kind of bummed that i didn't get to pick him up but he was you know he was funny and it was funny when he got home he, he got his new official work shirts and stuff and he's like yeah okay i love my kid i love my kid right oh so it's bomb so they said we can wear a shirt underneath, like a, like when it's colder, we can wear long sleeve shirts and stuff, or we can wear a t-shirt, but they can only be white, black, gray, 
or orange. He's like, I don't understand orange. He's like, black, orange, white, and gray make sense, but orange? And I looked at him. He's like, what? And I'm like, you work for Harley Davidson. What? Did you not look at the logo? Like, so they assured him that they hired him. So he got in a conversation with one of the girls there. And he's like, he's like, yeah, I don't understand how I got picked over some of the other people. And he goes, she's like, well, but when he had asked me, he's like, mom, do you, why do you think they picked me? And I was like, because you have good legs. I mean, like, he is not like my son doesn't ride motorcycles. He's a little guy. I mean, my son is only like five, 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 six. I mean, he's. He's a small guy. Um, for those of you who don't know, my son is gay. Um, he is not your typical stereotyped Harley rider. My son also doesn't ride a motorcycle, has never ridden a motorcycle. Um, so was not like again was not expecting him to get the job. Um, and they said, "Well, you seemed really smart." And you're cute. <laughs> so I just got to laugh. But yeah, orange. I don't know why you let me wear an orange shirt, Mom. But he's loving it. He's absolutely enjoying it. And it's fun to watch him grow that confidence in, like, I can do this. Like, oh. And then I made this suggestion. And did you know that they really are big about part hiring within, Mom? So, like, a lot of the people who have had my job before are now, like, managers. And so I was like, okay. Okay, well, let, let's focus on getting you a license and then maybe a good used car so that Mom can have a bit of a break. Okay. So, he goes back to work in the morning. Bean starts her third class of the semester because, you know, that puts her at over six credits. She's taking ceramics. I know I have had this discussion with you. I'm really, really jealous. I'm just going on record by saying I am extremely jealous. I would love to take a ceramics class. But I also know me. I also know me. And I do not need to pick up another craft. Nope. Especially one where I could end up buying a kiln. No. No. Now, hang on a second because I've got a barking dog, as you can hear. Hang on. Because we took stained glass, and now I have a gr glass grinder and glass and a soldering iron and stuff. Clearly, I I own three sewing machines now and a serger. Yeah, I don't need to take ceramics class. Do I want to? Yes. Am I hoping Bean falls in love with it because I, I want my kids both to have crafts that they enjoy? Yes. Am I a little scared she is because going to fall in love with it? Yes. One moment, the boy child is here. Okay. So, we'll see. She starts that tomorrow. So, I literally have to wake up, take the boy child to work, come back home. I have a little bit of time to do some work. Then take the girl child to class. Because we elected not to interpret tomorrow because our one judge is out on vacation all week with the fourth. Um, I don't have to interpret, thank goodness. Um, so then I'll take Bean to class, then I'll pick Bean up, then I'll have probably a short break, and then I'll have to go and get the boy. And that's my day. And then Tuesday we don't have class, and we were going to barbecue with a friend of mine, um, and that has fallen through, so I am totally, I, I'm not going to do a bunch of cooking like I was going to do, like with sides of my kids don't get into all of that. And then I have a ton of leftovers. And yeah, so I'm not going to worry about it. And that's fine. I'm going to spend the day crafting. And I am excited. Now, that means also tomorrow in between everything, I still need to do homework. Um, but that's fine. 
My son also arranged it so that we can go to the, Nick, my mentor and I, can go to the Harley shop and we can practice with Nick pretending to buy a motorcycle and I can sign buying a motorcycle. Yes. Vroom, vroom. Um, all about the system. So, now we have already heard from Judge Rancilio that next Monday on the 10th, the docket is like jammed packed. The other thing, I put it up in our sign club Facebook, and one of the other mentors wants to go as well. And some of our like new alumni want to go and they've gotten permission to be able to go. So that's really exciting. We just have to make sure that it is very clear that we are not even by going and having this experience to be a court, to be the level to interpret for court, at least here in Michigan and Michigan has one of the, some of the strictest interpreter laws and certification standards. So in order to be a court level interpreter, you have to be a B E I three with the legal endorsement. Um, so like, that's like the top of the top. So, but I think that in order to even know that you want to work towards that level, you need to have some exposure. And that was kind of, but, and Nick is like, look, having to interpret at that level means that doing base level BEI one should be very easy. And so he's like, the fact that you want to like practice up here to take the test down here is smart. So that's our goal. Okay, so we have interpreting this week. I also interpreted during, and mostly we chatted during our Thursday craft club at the Deaf Church um, and had a lot of fun. So there was that, and I got to take, I took some knit, my knitting with me. I did take Monopoly with me as well, and I, I probably worked a little bit more on Monopoly. Um, but mostly it was, you know, it's practice. It's conversational level practicing. Um. And so, and that's uh, all building school skills. So I probably earned like 10 hours last week just in interpreting. Um, let's see what else. So those are the big newses. Um, yeah. I was at court Friday doing a bunch of stuff. Filed a couple things that need to be filed. That was exciting. Have a new consult coming in this week. Um, fingers still crossed about stuff. I did mail off my um, TEP because that was on my list of things to do, remember? Um, I mailed off my TEP application. I mailed off my Supreme Court of the United States application. I bought Oreo a toy by Kong. So it's like a chew toy and then there's a ball in the middle that as you push it around it drops treats the dog is so smart it took him about an afternoon to figure out how to open the stupid ball which has to be screwed together so how he figured out how to open it i don't know but the flipping dog did so the flipping dog knows how to open the treat ball and eat all the kibble that's in there me and this dog me and this dog. Yeah. Um, so as far as cleaning and organizing projects, what I did this week, I um, folded, I sorted and folded all of the laundry. I had washed it all, but now I sorted and folded it all. Um, and found a bunch of my clothes, remarkably, that were like mixed in with stuff. So there is that. Um, as far as this week on Saturday coming up, my friend Mike is coming over to help me replace some of the subfloor that's been damaged. We had a leaking AC window situation um, and that. So we're going to replace some of the flooring 
and get that all fixed. I don't know. Other than that. And then on Sunday, I'm going interpreting with Jasmine and Nick. And the boy child works. So. Okay. As for crafting. Because I did get a bunch of crafting done, believe it or not. Um, I am still behind on Whipco. And that's fine. We're catching up slowly but surely. Um, the first. And I started the Tour de France. Which apparently is not a semi sane Stitcher thing. It was in another group and I got carried over from a couple years ago but somebody reposted the chart and anyways I started it and now I'm doing it this month I still have no idea if I'm supposed to do something special on red versus green days so if you know if you could advise I would appreciate it because um yeah I got nothing okay so Ugh. I already take Claritin. It is not like I don't take a daily. I mean, I've taken Claritin every day for a long time. Well over a year. And this is what I get. Okay. So I started, I worked some more on my um, Courage Cell. That is, um, was, is being hosted. Is that the right word? By Pam from Just Keep Stitching. Um, this pattern that I am doing the Courage pattern from Praiseworthy Stitches. I am doing it on 18 count Ada in the color Cloud by Atomic Ranch. Um, I am using Threadworks. Threadworks number 11383. Forbidden Fiber Company thread in the color Pickle. And DMC 3849. And this is where I'm at. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I wish that the colors for this showed up better for you. Um, because, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Is that any better? There we go. Okay. So the blue and the green, if you're new here, the blue and the pickle represent intracranial hypertension. And the teal is the color for um, sexual assault awareness. I had originally thought it was white, but I did double check and found out, nope, it's teal. So um, then I put into Google DMC teal, and that is how I found teal, the correct shade of teal for um, DMC. So that's where we're at. I work on this randomly. I don't have... A time deadline I guess I mean I don't want it hanging around forever because you know um, I may add some more colors of awareness ribbons that are important to me because they have affected me um, or people very very close I don't know these are the probably the two biggest for me um, So, yeah. Um, so, we'll just keep plugging away at that. The first set of initials are coming up. And um, I think those will be mine. I, th I think the first initials that will end up. So, it will be the top left corner. Um, I think they're going to be mine. So, we'll, we'll just keep plugging away at that. Okay. The next thing that I worked on this morning, I did not get to work on it very long, um, but progress is progress, and yeah, so I got in 
This is Sing a Song Sampler by Silver Creek Samplers. I am doing a full conversion. Like none of my colors are the call for. Just go with it, okay? It's pain. It's it's painless. Just breathe, okay? Just relax and breathe. It'll be okay. Um, if you're a pearl clutcher who thinks that everything needs to be stitched in whatever the call for is, um, I regret to inform you that you are probably going to have a lot of anxiety watching my show then because I don't do a whole lot of call fours. Um, so I got a note to stitch this morning. Um, usually I get more done, but this morning we're trying to get him to work and, and everything else that has gone on today, um, that just did not happen. But progress is progress. So I am selling this with Tina Frazier of, um, yeah, I don't remember what Tina's floss tube is, but um, I love this piece so much. Um, I will write out my conversions like I have repeatedly said. I have not done that yet. Okay. So we work on those on Sunday. My goal, my thought, the plan is that once that is done, Sing a Song Sampler Sunday is done, then it will turn into stocking Sunday. And I will start on Bella's stocking first because she's the oldest. The other thing is I finally found a pattern that I want to do um, for my own stocking. And um, now they're on my wish list because I'm really trying again to go back to, I spent a lot at StitchCon. Um, and I really would rather... Uh, right now, until I get caught up on some projects and get some more finished, I don't need any more patterns, and I'm not going to start stocking tomorrow, So, and it's not out of print, so we're pretty good. And that's where we're going to stay. So it is, but, but if you're interested, it's Mrs. Claus on the beach. Um, It's by Stony Creek in a booklet, and then there's a Mr. Claus as well, and of course I need the pair. Um, And then it comes with some cute little ornaments and stuff, and I would do, I honestly, there's not a thing pattern on the front cover. I wouldn't stitch in either one of those booklets, um, which is kind of rare for me with a booklet. But um, so I've been working on my whip go pulls. Um, this is Monopoly, and Monopoly is a June pull. Um, I still owe Monopoly three more stitching sessions, and so I will likely. I would say that I was going to stitch again tonight. Um, that ain't gonna happen. I'm going to bed. I'm tired, I'm getting crabby, um, and I'm all snotty and congested. So it's it's not going to happen. Is that okay? Yes, absolutely. Will I stitch this week? Sure I will. Um, so what did I put in? I have started to put, fill in these two squares here with the gold. I filled there. Got the rest of the red. Okay. But um, hello. Hello, back stitching. Hello, 310. So, again, I'm changing all of the places to mus musical instruments because my son, if you know, you know, William is my music major. Okay, so, Triangle Avenue, Cowbell Avenue, and Tambourine Avenue. Went in because they go with Recorder Avenue. In Kazoo Avenue. I love it. The other ones that I put in are French Horn Walk. And I'm now that I, I keep looking at this, I really don't like the way it's centered. I may rip out French Horn Walk and restitch it now that I'm the more I look at it. Would you? Or would you just leave it? And then I put mouth on police. So I think with the three more times, um, because it was not originally, I was thinking it was also called in July for me, but it's not. Is it on my board one more time? Um, it is not. Because my goal is honestly to have it as close to, if not done, by Christmas for my son. In order to do that, it is not going to get done in three days. 
I thought I had it on here one more month. But apparently I only put it on here twice. And it's already been called. It was called in February. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, it's another one of those easy, like, what I may do after the three days is leave it in the Jeep. So that when I'm picking up William or dropping off, like, well, picking up really because dropping off isn't necessarily an issue. Um, but maybe when I'm picking him up and I get there a little bit early, I can, um, give that, to, I can work on it. Okay. For those of you who have been having a heart attack about some of my flosses being just all bad, balled up, or maybe it was just me and my anxiety. I don't know. Um, do I have all of the flosses on here yet? No, I do not. Um, because I need to punch holes in the bottoms. They're punched on the top. Let's see. But they are not punched on the bottom. And I'm just, yeah. Um, they want the pizza on the counter. So if you hold, please, again, um, I can go move the pizza so they will shut up. Okay. So, um, for July... One of the pattern, one of the pieces that got called for me for square nine is my piece of K and Dennis. Y'all, I have loaded this into Pattern Keeper. Um, and yet I have still managed to somehow, let me show you. Okay, so this is where we're at. That's K's hair. Somewhere in there, I'm off. I don't know what. But um, can we just, okay, so this is the corner, the side, doo, 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 doo. we're going down, we're going down, oh wait, who went over one too far, y'all, I am not frogging all of this, that ain't gonna happen, it ain't gonna happen in my world, I would rather throw this out a window and start over than to frog all that. So, in my infinite wisdom, my brain is thinking that what I'll do is I'll just, this is just an orange wall. It's just the background. Now, this is her shoulder here. So, that, but I don't mind necessarily frogging, like, this little bit here. I mean, do I want to? No. Would I? Sure. So I'm gonna work up here in her face. I may just add it, and then I'm just gonna go up here and add the rat, like repeat whatever this line is to make it even. Because I am not frogging this. If you all will notice, I will do just about anything to avoid frogging. Um, yeah. <coughs> so I have worked two times on that. I did not work this last week on buffet mat, which I really need to, but, um, yeah, you'll see why. Because, um, and Tuesday, my plan, honestly, craft-wise, is to sew and to do more sewing. Does that mean I won't be cross-stitching that day? No. Um, does that mean I won't be doing a bunch of other stuff that day? No. Who knows what I'm going to be doing? Tomorrow is homework, though. And then, I don't know. So, I have been working on my... Stegosaur sweater. I test it. It's actually going really well. Now that I figured out some of the things that I have figured out. Um, I am four rows into my dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. Those are not things I thought I would ever say. I also did not ever think that I would be knitting myself. A color changed variation sweater with dinosaurs without having to do a bunch more work. I mean, it's actually charted to fit my boobs and have some, like, and not be like snug. It's actually going to be roomy based on my measurements. I actually could have knitted like two sizes down. 
So I am totally psyched because I do, I love baggy stuff. And my yarn is actually really, it's, I am literally using the cheap Joann's yarn for my sweater. This is super soft. Um, and then my black is the same brand, the Big Twist, just their general worsted weight black yarn. I got it on sale. My whole sweater, um, minus my time. I don't know why that is doing that. Maybe the, the spirit is coming down. Um, my whole sweater, I will be able to create for under $25. Um, yes, please. Because we all know that sweaters, first of all, are freakishly expensive. Sweaters and soft yarn are even more freakishly expensive. Sweaters for plus sizes that are cute, um, are just ridiculous when it comes to prices. And so, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So let's see. So that is the start of my, of the stegosaurus. That's his humps. Um, this, the stegosauruses go all the way around. So in my size, um, it's eight around. There'll be eight dinosaurs that go around. Like, so my hope this week honestly is to finish the stegosaurus once you get each line's counting rhythm down they're not bad and it goes fairly fast um i am at let me see my pages got out of order um They're everywhere. I got pages everywhere. Um, yeah. So, like, for me, I'm stitching almost 400 stitches around every loop. So, um, the Stegosaurus is 25 rows. I have finished four. So my hope is that when I come back to you next time that I am down, I have finished the other 21. To be fair, if we make it to row 10 or 12 between now and then, I'm good. I'm actually doing really well and I'm on track to um, finish it in time. Um Or at least get it to the part where she is fine with it to be. Um, so. Baby Bruno is due anytime. Um, my friend went in on Thursday. Maybe Wednesday. Y'all, all the days are blowing together. Anyways, she went in midweek last week. She went in Tuesday. What the? Tuesday. Because Tuesday was my day in class. And I was like, oh my God, Bruno could be here anytime now. And they swept her membrane membranes. So typically she should have already gone into labor. So I don't know. But Bruno's baby room is being done in cows. I think I've shared this before. I have a couple other patterns I'm working on. Um, Bruno's mommy saw this and fell in love with this. It's a crocheted blanket that folds up so that it will hang over the crib and look like a cat. So we tracked down the pattern. I'm trying to find some other pat pictures that might be better. Here we go. Mm-hmm. So we tracked down the pattern. Bruno's mom does not crochet. Um, I 
I crochet. I actually think that I learned to crochet. Well, I learned how to knit when I was a kid. I knit a single doll blanket that was um, rather lacy looking, but was not supposed to. Mm -hmm. And then I set aside knitting really and truly for years until the kids were babies. I crocheted. I learned how to crochet and when they were kids and have crocheted and I can crochet fairly quickly when I sit down and actually crochet. So Taryn asked, she was like, oh my God, that would be so cute, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I, I crochet, um, you know, in between everything else. So she's like, oh my God, that would be great. Well, if you know me with textiles, you know that textures, I'm, I'm very weird with textures. So I'm not going to knit something if I don't like the feel or crochet something, if I don't like how the yarn feels in my hands when I'm working, not going to help. How about Taryn is the same way about textures. Now, one of the yarns that we both love are, um, bamboo yarns because they tend to be really soft and silky. The other texture that I really love and the yarn is amazing. Um, and I am going to find a sweater to knit out of this because, um, Yes, yes, please. And that would be the Bernay Velvet Yarn. Burnett Velvet Yarn. So these are the cow colors of the cow. Five. Mm -hmm. And then I tracked down the bamboo yarn in the gold for his little horns, like the yellowy gold, and the pink for his um, nose. He's going to be the softest freaking cow ever. So I started this tonight. I'm going to tell you that I don't like the way the pattern is drafted. It's very confusing. If you are not used to stitching with um, one, UK terms, and two, um, with grass. But. I have spots on the cow. Y'all, I when I tell you how soft this yarn is, I I wish you guys could like I want a whole blanket and then I want an outfit, including like pants, made out of this yarn. It is so soft. So I have to find me a sweater that uses bulky weight yarn. And then I have to hope that I win the yarn lottery because this yarn is not cheap. This blanket just in yarn that was, I had a coupon or a sale. I still spent $82 in yarn on a baby blanket. Karen has said that she would like to pay me both for yarn, for supplies, as well as my time. Um, I have no idea what to charge. Like, I would really charge her. Like, cover the yarn, whatever. She bought the pattern. Um, it is super, super, super cute. So, mm -hmm. you know, because I need another project. So, do I have any haul? Just my yarn. I take that. Um, Venus thinking that for the Totoro sweater, she may want at least one of the colors in blue, um, which I think would be really cool and very pretty. Um, she tends to gravitate more towards like darker blues, deeper blues. Um, I'm the oceany blues, like those sea glass blues. Um, she tends to be the opposite way, which is fine. I think it's great. Um, I love that my kids have their own sense of style. Um, so yeah, 
I have that. I also have, um, there's a couple sweaters I would love to cast on. I, I, it, I'm trying to be very good and not start all of the knitting projects like I do with all of the cross stitch projects. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to keep working through Whipco. I'm going to try it. I did not get all of my stitches in on for today for Tour de France. So tomorrow will be a little bit of a catch up day, which is fine. Like I'm not stressing it. Like this is low key stress. Um, today should have been 209 stitches. If I had finished all of the black words on the sing a song sampler, I would have had them, but I did not. Actually, I should probably count the stitches because I'm probably closer than I, I realize. Um, I'm going to keep knitting. I'm going to keep crocheting. Um, So I'll keep working on whip go. I'll keep working on baby stuff. Um, I'll keep setting the goal of using my Cricut because one day, well, it's got to happen soon because Bruno's going to get here and he's going to blow through baby clothes. We all know how fast babies grow. So, um, I don't remember what size onesies I bought. I know I did not buy newborn. My guess is I probably bought a three to six month, um, but that still means that sooner than later I need to get those done and in the box so that I can get the box tearing. Um, I did not work on Santa's travels. That was the other thing that was um, on my 52 card whip pickup. Um, I have it still. I, I didn't even pull the bag out of my room. So I will leave that. Um, Hopefully I can work on that on Tuesday. This week's card is the Jack of Diamonds. The Jack of Diamonds. And for me, that is Ask Not. Ask Not. Um, that is the one that has the JFK quote. It should, if, that's a good one to work on 4th of July. So maybe I'll work on that and then I'll set a, a different day aside to work on um, Santa's travels. So maybe 4th of July will be asked not in sewing. Stop. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Otherwise, I'll throw Santa's travels back in the stack. It will happen. I'll get caught up at some point. At some point. Mostly, I just want to sleep. And I'm really looking forward to Tuesday where I don't have to get up and drive this kid 40 minutes to work. I'm not going to lie. I'm really looking forward to sleeping in. And now that I don't have to cook a bunch of stuff, it makes it even nicer, honestly. Because my kids don't eat a lot of, like, I'll have to, I do have to run to the grocery store tomorrow then and pick up a couple things. But, like, my kids are pretty... They don't eat baked beans. William will eat potato salad, but bean doesn't. There's an orzo salad recipe I'd like to try. But I'm not going to make, like, I was going to make the broccoli salad. But now I'm not going to because I'm going to be really the only one who will eat that. And so um, I'm not going to make a big, I was going to do a double chocolate mocha trifle. Um but I don't need that. I'd rather just buy some popsicle, like some ice cream or something that, you know, isn't going to be like crazy. Um, I'm the only one out of the three of us that eats corn on the cob. So there's no point in me doing that. Nobody eats baked beans except for me. So I'm not going to do that. So like literally, <laughs> I'm going to throw a slab of ribs in the oven because I don't have a grill. And... Pick up some potato salad. Um, I have some watermelon. I may pick up some strawberries and blueberries and stuff like that. But really and truly, no, it takes a lot of pressure off me for Tuesday to just kind of chill out and be able to craft. And because I'll have my homework done tomorrow. Um, so Tuesday is all about just crafting, crafting, crafting. So with that said, 
Um, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to go and take some extra meds and I am going to go um, chill out. It's a huge week of stuff um, between house stuff with the floor. That's a big one. Um, and everything else. I, I'm, I'm just going to go. Yeah, I'm going to go to bed. I will talk to you all later. If you need me, please, 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 please reach out to me. I am his princess Kelly on Instagram and I am always available. Um, you can always DM me and I will get back to you if I'm not available. So, um, yeah, with that, I'll talk to you all later. I am sending you all the best. Love you. Um, happy 4th of July. If you celebrate, um, here in the States, if you are from Canada, happy belated Canadian day. Um, uh, <coughs> and yeah, have a good week.